Uh, but like it still it doesn't work. We'll cut this part out. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to is this your channel or my channel? Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to our baking show. <laughs> baking show, <laughs> yeah. Today we're going to be baking um banana oatmeal chocolate chip cups. Or if you don't like chocolate chips like my mom. They don't have to be with chocolate chips. You can use almonds, uh any type of nut that you would like, as long as you're not allergic. Ah! Alright, let's hop into it. Hop! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> For the ingredients that you're gonna need, um, to start off. Okay, so we're gonna need some, I'll show you as we go. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dry ingredients in this big bowl, and then our wet ingredients are gonna go in this little bowl, and we'll just mix it in together. Yes. This is healthy, relatively healthy. We're not gonna be using any sort of flour, and you can make this for fun. And you can also use this as a breakfast. Yeah. If you guys have tried uh, the Bobo's, Bo Bobo's Bobo's chocolate chip oatmeal cups, it's kind of similar to what we're trying to do here. So and yeah. to get you through, you just need a coffee. Cheers, Mia. Iced oatmeal honey latte from Starbucks. Mm. Regular caramel mm. frappuccino. Jokes. So slaps. Laughs. Oh. <laughs> We're really funny. Oh, yeah. Laughs we have. Between me and we you. We have some laughs. Pranks. Laughs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients. We're going to start off with three ripe bananas. Or if you have larger bananas, maybe two will do. But because these are pretty small, we're going to use three of them. Yes. So we need three cups of oats. We're using old-fashioned oats. I've seen recipes where you can use... Um, your oats, put them in a food processor, right? Yeah. Sure. To make oat flour. And that would make like a different type of consistency, but you could probably make muffins with that. That was too confusing. I'm gonna cut it out. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get three cups of these oats. Three cups. <laughs> three cups of these oats. Okay, so we're just gonna add in our cups of oats here. Oh, it's already recording, right? I don't even know. What the ingredients? Oh, I have Start over. So we've added three cups of oats into this big bowl, which is where we're going to be mixing our dry ingredients. And now we're going to add all of the spices and baking powder, salts, all the other dry ingredients. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to be doing two tablespoons of baking, baking powder. powder. We have our very nice green measuring spoon. Take out the tablespoon. Yeah. Teaspoon, teaspoon, sorry. Teaspoon? Yes, teaspoon. You sure? Yes, it okay. says teaspoon. <laughs> I doubted her. There's your teaspoon. So just two of those. Also, sometimes you want to level it so that you're not actually adding more than a teaspoon or however much you're amount in any recipe, actually. So that's important to do. But you can also just wing it. I know that I've <laughs> been guilty of doing that many times. <laughs> we're gonna cut out the parts where I'm also making the TikTok so they don't see that I'm making a TikTok. That I'm recycling my content. <laughs> Put my hand in it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> we're also gonna do. Oh, are you still recording? I think so. And now we've done the baking powder and we're going to do one teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay. I'll do that one. Are you sure you're not going to... Actually, I don't really trust myself, so... <laughs> I don't even know. Next ingredient, we're gonna do half. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. But we don't have an eighth teaspoon measuring tool, so I'm gonna use this um, one fourth teaspoon and just eyeball it from there. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. I mean, also like an eighth of a teaspoon. Yeah, I have like to not. open it because it's sealed it's for quality. New. I I've never used nutmeg in my baking. But nutmeg is said to be very. Wait, does this one 
Did they say nutmeg? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the thing about nutmeg, the, the, the thing about nutmeg is you can use it for baking and cooking, cooking as with everything else. But um, I actually bought this because I'm gonna make a soup that uses nutmeg. So. Stay tuned for that one. Okay, this is, oh my god, this is pretty precise. So I filled this about halfway <laughs> to make up for the lack of the 1 8 teaspoon measurement. And it's pretty darn there. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> and I think we just have one more dry ingredient. Which is the iodized salt. Is that what you say? I so. Yeah, or we could just say salt. Because they said kosher salt, but we oh, don't have that. Yeah, a half of a <laughs> teaspoon of Wait. salt. Do we have one? Half of a teaspoon. That is half of a teaspoon. This is one teaspoon. Yeah, we have half. Did you but it's not in here. This is one fourth. I'll just do two of those. So because we're also missing the half teaspoon measurement for the salt, I'm going to use two of these instead. And hopefully I don't overdo it. It's a little weird. We just lost. Well, it's here, here, but... <laughs> it's a different color. It's, it's a fine. different color. We have various sets of measuring spoons for whatever reason. We bake a lot. No, we don't. But <laughs> um, we did end up having it, but we're just going to eyeball it at this point. It's fine. Oops. <laughs> it was a little, little too much. No, it's fine. Can you focus? Don't mind us also filming TikToks. On. As I drink my Starbucks. Okay, we're done with the dry ingredients. Yes. Moving on to the wet ingredients. This part is really fun. Well, all of it is, but next on to our smaller bowl. Can I do some of the ingredients this time? Because I did most of the dry ones. Okay. So, for our dry ingredients, you're going to need one and a half cups of milk. You're going to need um, three or two bananas. Just some, as much bananas. I don't know. Clarification, please. You're going to need two eggs, one and a half cups of milk. And I think that's it. And also you're gonna need chocolate chips. That is optional. So if you don't prefer chocolate chips, then that's fine. 30 second insert of cooking chips for Mia. Make sure that you wash your hands and put your hair up once you're baking. Sorry, had to film a TikTok. <laughs> uh, make sure that you wash your hands and just get everything prepared. Be prepared before you actually complete something. You don't wanna be just Going back and forth between places every 30 seconds. We want you're adding in your ingredients. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, sure. hi. It looks kind of disgusting. Basically, what you're going to need to do now is you can add as many bananas as needed into a smaller bowl because we're going to Not as on. many bananas, just oh. the bananas we told them. The bananas we told you. <laughs> if you have large bananas, do about two. If they're a little bit smaller, like ours, do three. And so Mia already mashed those up in our wet ingredient bowl. And I've mixed in all the dry ingredients in this bigger bowl, which shows well. <laughs> in the bigger bowl for the dry ingredients, you're going to want to make sure that everything is very well incorporated so that you don't get like little sections of everything. You want everything to taste harmonically yeah. together. So all the spices have, and the salt or whatever. All the spices were mixed in with my... Let's take out the eggs. Because <laughs> the eggs. you just stare at them. <laughs> okay, so we have two eggs now. Yes, we do. I'm for little cocking eggs. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. Is it recording? Okay, um... Mia has finished mixing in the eggs with the bananas and we added our half cup of milk but we still need another whole cup of milk. You can use any milk of your choice. We're going to be using this normal cow milk because we don't have almond milk at the moment. But of course you can use any milk that you would like, especially if you're lactose intolerant. You would not want to go in with this. No, you really wouldn't. Right? Any type of milk you seriously want. You really wouldn't want to, so. I feel like oat milk would probably work pretty well too, yeah. considering that we're using oats. But again, I don't know, so. Yeah. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, they, can't, they probably can't even see. It's fine. You get the point. So maybe you don't want to use a masher tool to mix it all in, but. I feel like it works. Fine. Yeah, it does work. Let's show them. Mix oh, it. Okay. Don't mix too hard because you don't want scrambled eggs. But I don't feel like you would get scrambled eggs. Anyway, is that all the ingredients? Um, yeah. I'm gonna be like, so now I'm gonna run this and then you're gonna, and then I'm gonna be like, our dry ingredients and your wet ingredients, and you're gonna lift up that bowl, okay? I'll just leave it in there. Now we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients, and we're going to mix in our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Yes, we are. done as 
as of now is so we obviously we mix all of our ingredients together we basically coated the bottom and kind of like around the sides with coconut oil we just thought that this was a bit more efficient and just not as like artificial almost you can use non-stick spray mm -hmm. or butter whatever you'd like we do not have non-stick spray at the moment so we did use this and we just put a little bit on the bottom because so it will stick yes yeah. so we're going to be using these like tablespoon or just like scoopers in general you can use whatever you have around a spoon works just fine but we have these little tablespoon measuring spoons that we just use to add in the um, coconut oil. We're gonna scoop in the little scoops of our batter, in this case, into our liners and then in the oven. Now, basically, the oven criteria here is you're gonna put your oven to 350 degrees and you're gonna leave them in there for 20 to 25 minutes, approximately. So tell me better than that, Emma. How's it going? Trebian. Bonjour. Aujourd'hui, je vais préparer une oatmeal comme ça avec banana. Okay. 